Hello, good morning everyone. We are here again to show you this time taping. Okay, so what we are going to do this morning is we will perform or we will show to you how to perform pacing. Now, you already know what is pacing, right? During our lecture classes. And another, aside from pacing, we will also show you how to perform taping. Of course, we with me is Kuya Carlo and Sir Martin, Sir Wilmar, our cameraman. Okay, so we will show you how to perform taping. Okay, so we have the chaining pins or marking pins. If you notice, there are 11 pins, which we already discussed this during our lecture. Measuring tape or surveyor's tape, the range pole or rod. Right, yes. Sir Martin? Yes, uh -oh. rod or range pole. So supposedly, kanya atong gamiton. No? Kung naa mo dire, we will use this one. However, uh, magkandak mo mo sa inyong balay. So we will improvise. No? Instead, we will use this one. No? What is that, Sir Martin? Carpenter's, Carpenter's tape. tape. Carpenter's tape. No? So it's, the purpose of this one is similar to the measuring tape na ginagamit ng mga geodetic engineers. Okay? We will show you and let's go! There! Three, two, one, start. Hey guys, I'm here to introduce to you the different uh, equipment that we're going to use for taping. So, first of all, this is the measuring tape. So, I hope you can see. So, there are two units here. So, first is the metric and then on the other side, you can see the uh, English system. So, the least count for the metric is in millimeters. And the, and the least count for the English system is uh, one eighth of an inch. Okay, so the second one is the chaining pin. So this is the one that we're going to use to mark points on the ground. So we can either use this on the end points or on starting points or any of the points in between. Okay, so the third one is the plumb bob. So it is a metal weight attached to a string. So we are going to use this um, in taping so that you uh, you can make sure that you are directly over the point that you are referring to or may it be a starting point end point or an intermediate point so another purpose of the plumb bob is so that you can also make sure that the tape is horizontal because uh, you can see so this is vertical right so you can see the tape go your tape goes here so you can you can clearly see that it is a horizontal in reference to this lumba okay okay so you have right here a mongol 2 pencil no just kidding so this is the range pole right so this is the range pole so you can use this to mark the starting point the end point so in taping uh, you can use this in the starting point and the end point so that you will have a reference for the orientation of the tape so we have a uh, Mongol 2 pencil. <laughs> okay, so na tadiri karon sa area we're in uh, mag measure ta of distance. And of course, with me are the tape man, Sir Martin, the forward tape man. And Kuya Carlo is the rear tape man. So pila ka buok imuhang chaining pins, Sir Martin? 10. 10, okay. Mayroon siyang 10. Kuya Carlo, you have one, okay. Okay, now, let's assume that point as our starting point. Okay, observe Kuya Carlo how he stake the chaining pin. So, for this one, it should be 45 degrees from the ground. And it should be, the pin should be perpendicular to the line to be measured. So for our end point, let's assume that this is our point, or the second point we mean. So we utilize this light post for our end point. So in measuring a line or measuring its distance of a line, we need to have at least two points, okay? Okay, so we will start our measurement. So we have here our starting point. We mark here our using chaining pin and we end our measurement there at like post. Chain. Good my sir, sir. Sir Martin. Okay. Oh yeah. Okay. 
Oops, Sir Martin, in that case, it's pavement, so you have to use your chalk. Thank you, Mom, Janet. <laughs> so now, we already reached the last point, no? So we have our last pin marked here, and we will now measure or to our end point. So, okay, Sir Wilmar, will I measurement? Okay, Sir Wilmar, will man ang atong last measurement? 260 centimeters or 2.6 meters. Okay. Okay, Sir Wilmar, how long our last measurement for our last pin to our last point? 260 centimeters or 2.6 meters, sir. Okay. So, from that, uh, pila man po tood ang na ani mo na mga chaining pins? 11. So, 11. Okay, guys. So, take note, 11 pins ang nani Sir Wilmar karon. But technically, it is equivalent to uh, 10 tape lengths, no? So therefore, to compute uh, how many tape lengths do we have or how many pins, that would be equals to number of chaining pins and nani sir Wilmar minus 1. So therefore, 10 pins. And 1 pin is equals to 1 tape length. And technically, 10 tape lengths or 10 pins is equals to 1 tally. So, Sir Wilmar, uh, since uh, we used carpenter's tape no, for the purpose lang sa activity, uh, how long ang iyang usaka tape length? 3 meters. So, 3 meters. So, since we have uh, 10 pins or 10 tape lengths, therefore, 10 times 3 meters is equals to 30, 30 meters. Plus, our last measurement na gibuhat nato from our last pin to, uh, to the last point is 2.6 meters. Therefore, the total length we measured from our starting point to our end point is 32.6 meters. So, we just, uh, Team Idols just show us how to perform taping. To recap, we have these terms. One pin represent one tape length. And 10 pins, it is one tally. Okay, that's all and thank you.